Hey everyone, Joey Snyder here, real quick, making a video about today's topic, which is love. Um, I have some, before I start off, I have some news for my subscribers and my friends on Facebook. I am starting a new series, which is basically just me taking suggestions from my audience, from my friends, and the next episode I make of on my channel will be season one, episode one, whatever, the suggested the most. So, if you're watching this, message me on Facebook, comment whatever you think I should do next for my next video, because this is the last one I'm just doing off the top of my head. Um, so like I said, the topic of today's video is love. I'm going to start this off with this. Love is interpretation. Love is your definition of it. Nobody can tell you what love is for you, because to one person, love can just be a four-letter word, but to someone else, it can mean absolutely everything to them. The first subject, sorry, I have this annoying itch underneath my lip Ugh. i apologize it's i've i made at least 30 cuts of this video in the past 10 minutes and i'm about to freak out and i have this waiting for me when i'm done and this waiting for me when i'm done so i'm trying to finish this well so the first subject is love and age which is like love and age if you can't handle that accent but um love doesn't have an age you can love anyone from the day you're born to the day you die but that doesn't mean you're ready for love ready to love because one person can be in love with someone but that doesn't mean they're ready for love that doesn't mean they're ready to handle being in love basically so I'm going to start it off with this. This is me and my girlfriend. I've loved her for- <laughs> that was unnecessarily long, but I've loved her since I was 12 years old. And just to sum our relationship up really quick, I have- from the day I met her, me and her didn't really have a really nice relationship in the beginning because we would always break up, but I knew I loved her. and then she spent a really long period of time with this douchebag ugly motherfucker but then i like would date a bunch of people and just try to fill the gap that i had because of when she left me um there was just a part of me that was missing that I, nobody could ever really fill and i knew i loved her because every night i would just throw messages hoping that one day i'll talk to her again and one day i'm just dating this chick and she randomly texts me and the second she texted me i'd find some stupid ass excuse to break up this chick courtney i was dating and I didn't really like her. Not at all. Not at all. It's one of those relationships where you date someone because you feel bad for the one. So as soon as this female messaged me on my phone, I called this chick up. I'm moving out of Baltimore. I got a job. Goodbye. Yeah, that's how I handle that shit. But anyhow, I made a lot of decisions which put her ahead of me, which, like, is a factor of love. If you love someone, you make decisions with them ahead of you. Now back to love and age, I said that you can love someone, but you can... I don't know if I've already said this or not, because i made, like, at least a billion cuts of this video already. But you can love someone from the day you're born, but you may not be ready to handle the relationship. When me and her started off, I was too young to be able to handle something like we had. Because we both loved each other, I was just too young to be able to handle it. But now that we're back together now, I can handle it. <laughs> so, you know you love someone when someone tells you. But another subject I have really quick, a after I close this one, is oh, what I'm gonna throw. Oh, love. Nobody can tell you whether you love someone or not. Like I always knew I loved her. Someone can come up to me and tell me, "You don't love her. You're too young." Blah blah blah. I just say, "Get out of my face, dude. You don't know me. You can't tell me who I love, who I don't love." That's what I say. Now to the next subject close that subject is that at any time I see people like 14 year olds dating like 30 year olds and to me that's a big no-no 
I think it's really weird and messed up that someone that young would be dating someone that old. And I know it sounds kind of like offensive to these teenage people who are dating these like adults, but you're probably dating a pedophile. And I'm apologizing. No, I'm not apologizing. That's weird. You, if you love them, you can love them, but don't date them until you're 18 until it's legal. I'm not as much of a law advocate as I seem, but um, I don't believe that you being that young should date someone that old because I see some chick who's like 14 years old, like literally like 4 feet tall, dating some like 20, 30, possibly year old, who's like 6 foot tall and it's just messed up, man, I guarantee you he's some rapist. And that, my friends, my definition of love is putting one person ahead of yourself. I'm sorry I'm not as serious as I usually am. I'm just freaking out for some reason because I've made, like, a bajillion cuts of this video. So, like I said to my subscribers, friends, send me in requests a soon a possible so that I can start my series off. Um, I figured I would just do a shout-out. Tupac and Notorious Big. If you don't like them, fuck off my channel. I love you guys. Goodbye. Like, comment, share, subscribe.